Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla and yes, I'm wearing one of my wigs. Before I talk about this video, I just wanted to tell you why I'm wearing this wig. I have done a lot of reviews for Uniwigs Le Vivid Collection and I have gotten all these wigs that I basically put in a closet in my hallway and I was going past the uh, closet today and I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna pull one of those wigs out and wear it in this video. This video is not about this wig, but I really want to get used to wearing wigs. I just feel it's kind of fun. Wigs are fun. And I think the more I wear them, the more I may be willing to go out in public in one. So today I am wearing the Carrie wig. Back to what this video is about. This video is about skincare. These are some skincare products that I purchased and have been using the past six months. Some of them are old love. Some of them are products that I used to use 25 years ago that I just kind of started using all over again. Some some of them are products that were new that I purchased and have been trying and using for months now and also love. Some of them are actually products that were sent to me as PR. I love them so much I went out and I purchased them myself. So I think there's only one product in this entire video that I did not purchase myself, one that was PR. The rest are all products that I purchased with my own little funds. There's going to be kind of a mishmash of things in here. There's going to be some facial cleansers that I really love, some toners that I love, some anti-aging creams, some sunscreens for both my face and my body, a lip balm, I think. <laughs> and I don't know what else is going to be in here, but I'm going to try to make this video as short as I possibly can. There's a lot of products in here. So what I'm going to do is instead of you know, you seeing my face anymore. But what I'll do is I'll zoom in on the products. I'll tell you the name of the product, the ingredients, what it smells like, what it feels like, why I like it, and what benefits I feel I've gotten from the product. I think that's it. Let me get started with this video. I hope you enjoy it. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and allow me to share some of my favorite skincare products. I love having a glycolic acid cleanser and this one's great because it's both a cleanser and an exfoliator. It has jojoba beads which act as these little tiny balls that exfoliate my skin. It contains conjic acid, willow bark, olive oil, jojoba oil, rosehip oil, and tea tree oil. The claims on this are that it cleans and brightens your complexion and it also has salicylic acid and the jojoba beads are there to help alleviate clogged pores and to slough off any dead skin cells. I like this, like I said, because it combines both my glycolic acid with the little jojoba beads that help exfoliate my skin. That that word jojoba is, am I saying that right? I always want to say jojoba, but I don't think that's the way you say it, but I really have enjoyed this glycolic acid cleanser from the company Body Mary. I love this product by Fancool. It is a mild cleansing oil. This is one of Fancool's best selling products. I like this cleansing oil because it's very gentle. It removes all my eye makeup. It doesn't burn my eyes at all. I can wiggle it in between all my eyelashes. It never bothers my eyes. And when I wash my face off, I don't have kind of that oily residue feeling like a lot of cleansing oils leave. This makes my face feel very clean and it never strips the oils from my skin. There is no scent to this. It's 100% preservative free. No artificial colors, no preservatives, no fragrances, and it contains no petroleum product. Great for sensitive skin. Another cleanser from the same company that I absolutely love is this Fancol Anti-Aging Cleanser. This is a very luxurious foaming facial cream. It cleanses your face, but it also has anti-aging benefits. It has pear juice extract, it has antioxidants in it, and Fancool's products are always 100% preservative free, fragrance free, no artificial colors or petroleum products. I love this aging care washing cream. 
About 25 years ago, I used to purchase the NIA24 skincare system from my dermatologist. He sold it at the time, and then he stopped selling it, and I kind of lost touch with this brand. I recently discovered it several months ago and realized how much I still love it. This is the NIA24 Gentle Cleansing Cream. It removes dirt, debris, excess oil, any makeup from your face, and it's fortified with a continuous release of niacin, but it really leaves your skin feeling very comfortable, very pure. It has the molecule of proniacin. It also has sodium hyaluronate, which provides hydration. It helps diminish hyperpigmentation. It also helps with your skin texture. It also contains botanicals that help to nourish and repair the skin, like evening primrose and also olive oils, which plump the skin. It helps even out my skin tone, it helps with my texture, and it really helps to make my complexion look brighter and healthier. This is for all skin types, but it's really great for people like me living in Colorado who have very dry skin. The NIA24 is a niacin-powered skincare line, and what niacin does is it helps prevent, repair, and fight the visible signs of aging. NIA24 has a patented niacin molecule called proniacin, and that proniacin allows the niacin to penetrate deeper into the layers of the skin to help stimulate DNA repair and rebuild the skin's barrier from the inside out. This brand is one of my new favorite brands to use on my face. This is another product from the NIA24 skincare line. It is their skin strengthening complex. I love NIA24. Like I said before, I used to use it before. It's expensive stuff. It's kind of on the same line as Obagi products. My dermatologists really love this product. The reason why I like this skin strengthening complex is it minimizes discoloration and dryness that my aging skin has to deal with. It contains evening primrose oil, which is rich in fatty acids. It also helps improve elasticity and resiliency to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and it also contains apple fruit extracts that helps to boost the clarity and also even out my skin tone and I just feel like it maybe makes my skin look a little bit smoother and it also contains that pro-niacin molecule, which allows niacin to really penetrate your skin, get down deep in the layers of the skin in order to stimulate DNA repair, and really kind of build the skin's barrier. All the NIA24 products I've tried so far have a kind of rich, luxurious feel to them. They absorb quickly into the skin, and they have a great scent. I can't describe it, but it just smells so good. I really enjoy this line, and I plan on continuing using these products. Probably one of the best selling products from the NIA24 line is this Intensive Recovery Complex. I would probably have to say this is one of the most hydrating moisturizers that I have. It is so thick and luxurious, absorbs into my skin very quickly. It is really formulated for day and night use, but I only use it at night. I think it is a little too much of moisture for me in the daytime. It helps repair the damage and improves the tone and texture of your skin. It has shea and mango seed butters that are supposed to nourish and replenish moisture loss. It has licorice extract, which is supposed to brighten. And again, it also contains that pro-niacin molecule that helps get niacin to the deep layers of your skin. And that helps with the repair of the skin. I had several products sent to me a while back from a company called Nadu, and I did a review on them. I ended up using up the products and ended up repurchasing the products myself. So these are products that I was originally sent as PR, used them up, and then now repurchased them myself. I love this konjac sponge that I got from Nadu. It really makes my face feel clean because it exfoliates it. it cleans it, but it's really gentle. My Clarisonic died on me a long time ago, and I have no desire to replace it. This konjac sponge is really nice, and I feel it does a great job of cleansing my skin. 
I am kind of torn about this pixie double cleanse. I like half of it and the other half of it I'm not quite sure about. I love the solid cleansing oil. I feel it really ruins my makeup. It doesn't make my face have any greasy residue once I rinse it off. The cleansing cream I'm not quite sold on yet. I have a real hard time with cleansing my face with a product that doesn't kind of lather or foam up. This almost feels like I'm putting cream on my face to clean my face. And while I think it's a great way of hydrating your skin, I just am not quite sold on it yet. <laughs> this is a double cleanse system. One side has a solid cleansing oil, the other side has a luxe cleansing cream, and it's supposed to be for more PM cleansing. It's supposed to rid your skin of dirt and oil. With the half cream, half oil formula, the face wash is supposed to combine the power of aloe vera and essential oils, which will help with dryness and dehydration, and also enlarge pores and acne. And some of the key ingredients in this are evening primrose oil, camilla oil, peptides, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Again, not quite sure about the cream side of this, but I absolutely do love the solid cleansing oil. I love, love, love this Glow Tonic from Pixie. It exfoliates and purifies the skin using glycolic acid. I love this. It smells so good. It has ginseng in it that's supposed to improve circulation. It has aloe vera that's supposed to soothe and hydrate your skin. It really makes my face feel tighter, like my pores, not my skin, but my pores feel tighter. And it also is supposed to help accelerate cell renewal to give you a brighter, more glowing complexion. It's alcohol-free. It's suitable for all skin types. And the best thing of all is it's not tested on animals. This has become my favorite toner. I use it after I wash my face every night. These are some of my favorite sun screens that I use. I love this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration. I put this on my body. It almost feels like a moisturizer going on. It has a very light scent. It doesn't feel greasy on my skin and it doesn't smell too much like suntan lotion. It just has a beautiful scent and I really feel like it moisturizes my skin. So this is what I put on my body. One of my favorite sunscreens is also by NIA24. It is a UVA, UVB sunscreen. It has an SPF of 30. And what I like about it is it also has that pro niacin, which fortifies my skin. It has mango butter to hydrate my skin. And it contains antioxidants to help neutralize free radicals. So I love it because it's protecting my skin from the sun, but it also has great anti-aging properties. It goes right into my skin and doesn't leave a white cast. It's one of my favorite sunscreens. My favorite mineral-based protection from the sun is by this company. I believe it's called My Chile or My Chile, My Chile. I'm not quite sure. All I know is it's made up the street from me. I'm in Boulder and this product is made in a town called Louisville, Colorado. So I actually walk in where they make it and purchase this. But I really like this mineral-based protection. It's made with red algae extract. I like this because it doesn't make my face feel greasy. It never leaves a white cast. It's vegan. It's made without GMOs, gluten, parabens, petroleums, phthalates, silicones, artificial fragrances, artificial colors. It is just a great sunscreen. And most importantly, it is cruelty free. I was first introduced to this lip balm through Octoly. They sent me this Kenzoki lip balm. This is a really nice lip balm. When I first did a review on this, I kind of gave it a mediocre review, but I ended up going back to it and I used the whole tube up. So this is a brand new tube that I bought myself and I love this. Now, if you go on the Sephora website, you'll see mixed reviews for this. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm one of the lovers. It is really soft. I put it on my lips every morning, every night. Really hydrates my lips, makes them feel so soft and smooth. There's no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates. I'm a big fan of this company, Kenzoki. They use a lot of white lotus flowers in their products, which have a lot of skin benefits. So I love this Kenzoki balm for lips to kiss. One of my favorite lip balms now. 
This is the Pixie Peel and Polish. It really leaves my face feeling very glowing and radiant, makes my skin look super smooth. It almost feels like a professional salon peel. It is basically an enzyme peel that's supposed to resurface your skin. It has natural free enzymes in there that loosen dead skin cells. It contains lactic acid that helps exfoliate, and it has cellulose peels and sugar extracts that help polish the skin and lift away any dullness and make your skin really look brighter. It's not tested on animals also, which I love. It says it's suitable for all skin types, but people with sensitive skin, be aware, at least for me anyway, when I first put this on, wow, 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 did it burn. It died down after a while, but at first <laughs> I thought I was going to have to take it off, but when I did take it off, my face was glowing. I loved it. So I left it on for two minutes and then I did a little scrub, rinsed it off, and my skin looked lovely. This is pretty powerful stuff, so I only use this once a week to exfoliate my skin. I don't know how to categorize this particular product because I received this originally from Octoly, but as you can see by my recent Amazon order, I also purchased it myself. So I don't know whether to count this as a product I received or a product that I purchased with my own money, but I did it both ways. But I really like this vitamin C serum from Skiderm. I have several products from this company. I love every one. They've all been incorporated into my skincare routine. I really like this vitamin C serum because it also has hyaluronic acid in it. I like that it doesn't have to be refrigerated has multivitamins in it. This vitamin C serum also moisturizes my skin. So this vitamin C serum is a skin brightener. It's a moisturizer. It has antioxidants in it. It's an anti-wrinkle cream. The hyaluronic acid in this product helps my skin retain moisture. It also contains an ingredient called Aqua XYL, which also helps limit water loss from the skin, which makes my face look plumper and smoother. So so this product is really a win-win for me. I don't know if you're familiar with the company Skiderm. It is a company that creates products both in Korea and the United States at very reasonable prices. So I like this vitamin C serum because it's in the form of a cream. It's not messy droppers that just kind of drip all over my face. I don't have to keep it refrigerated. I feel like this is very sanitary way of putting it on my face. I just really enjoy this vitamin C serum and I plan on repurchasing it. And last but not least, a skincare video would not be complete without mentioning Retin-A. I go between using the 0.05% and 0.1% strengths. I am not 100% sold on Retin-A. I've been using it on and off for probably 25 years. I really don't know how much effect it's really had on my skin. I know other people love it. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it, but I definitely needed to add this in my video because it is one of the products I periodically use on my skin. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my kind of holy grail skincare products. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks so much, guys. I will talk to you soon. Take care.